National Youth Chairperson Stephen Kampiongo has said he will equip youth with information that they may become viable and useful to the Zambian economy. Mr. Kampiongo said lack of information is what has incited political sins in the recent past. He said Zambia has reached a stage where youth will use information to converse electorates. Almost. Um, my role is to ensure that my youths start participating in the more meaningful programs, uh, empowerment programs uh, that are meant to build their lives first and foremost. And secondly, I don't want to risk any one of my youths uh, because if I send them to engage in violence, then I'm also asking them to go and get maimed, to go and get disfigured. And you know, most of these youths I have are family people, you know, so my mind is to equip them with information that they will use to convince the electorates. There's so much that their government has done. And Provincial Youth Chairperson Nathan Chanda said he would not allow youth to be used by selfish politicians. Mr. Chanda said youth were not supposed to be used as tools of violence, but for national development. Not to allow these selfish politicians who are just bent on using us youths as tools for political violence. But we should demand that we the youths are used as tools for national development. Because this country cannot develop without us the youths. No nation, no organization, or any given club can achieve its social and economic goals without the full and active participation of the youths. So as we go to elections, let's have issue-based campaigns Let's coexist. We are one Zambia, one nation. And let's accept and tolerate divergent views that are coming from other political opponents. Otherwise, we should preach love. The event was spiced up by Copper Belt celebrated artist Dandy Crazy, who helped PF rise to power with his Don Chukubewa anthem. This time, Dandy Crazy has come back with Kolopa Nafuti. Faith Kaira, TIO Zambia, in Chingola. I'm going to go to the